classes, on the other hand, um, are not unique things, but entire, like just like the word class, types of things. Um, so in your HTML, you can use the class element. So let's change this second one to a class, and let's call it blue, because um, what we're going to do, and let's move this back up the way we had it before. All right, and I'll just show what that looks like in the browser since we've made some changes. Okay, back to default. Here we are again. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to set a whole class of paragraphs where every occurrence of a paragraph with a class of blue, we want to actually style blue. So right now, we're styling this, this uh, individual paragraph blue. If we want to style an entire class, we use this syntax. It's a period to indicate that it's class. Um, now, the class name you put right in here. So in this case, the class name is blue. So this period indicates that it's a class. And then this right here is the actual name of the class, blue. And we can give it a color. Let's give it a color of teal. Now, I do this because I'm trying to make a point here about how you're naming your classes. Giving something a class name of blue is actually a bad idea because it's giving it a, a name that's coded into the HTML that is, uh, that is presentational. Blue is not semantic, it's the way it looks. And if you decide later you want to change it to something else, you would have to go through and change your entire code one page at a time to update this if you really wanted them to match. Or if you didn't want to go through all that effort, which you probably wouldn't, you would end up with a tag that says blue and then a color that says something completely other than blue, say green. And um, that's just uh, not the ideal way of doing it. So when you are naming your classes, it's better to name them based on functionality and semantics. So what is this paragraph that you're applying style to? What is it that makes it separate, that makes it a class that is going to have a unique styling? And then you set the style uh, based on uh, your, your personal preferences and you're free to change it later and it's not tied to uh, a class name that is specifically uh, uh, presentational. So I'm going to leave this conflict here of green and blue um, for, the, for the sake of the lesson. Okay, so this has a class of green and it's showing up as green now. Um, and because it's a class, I can create multiple paragraphs and they've all got a class of blue, and I can, you know, I can change them as much as I want. I'll delete most of the text from this one, save it, and refresh, and they all show up as green because the class applies to all of them. And just like with the ID, you have the syntax where, and again, this is a mistake. It's not style. There's no such HTML element. It should be, uh, for example, p or span. Um, you can put the name of the HTML element that it's a, a part that it's inside of, and then no space, and then the period for class, and then the class. So if I wanted to here, I could have put p.blue, and then it would only apply this to cases where the class of blue is inside of a p element. So I'll do it up here just to show class equals blue again. So now this has the blue class, but it's not a paragraph element. It's an H1 element. And when I refresh, it does not apply it to that. So many elements may share a class. And one element can have multiple classes. So I could say blue and um, end, since this is the last paragraph. Maybe I have a class called end. Um, and for setting multiple classes to a particular element, you can just use a space.